The university was founded by the Maryland General Assembly in 1856 as an agricultural school. After being around for over 150 years, you can see why it's so rich in history and tradition. As some of the newest Terrapins on campus, it's your turn to learn some of our Maryland traditions, and then maybe you'll be inspired to start some of your own. This is the Stamp Student Union, the center for campus life. Stamp is home to the University Book Center, the Food Court, and Kermit the Frog. You may remember watching The Muppets as kids. The creator of that show, Jim Henson, is a proud Maryland alum. Hey, hello, this is Kermit the Frog, and uh, you might say, as you can see by the pennant here, that I am indeed a, uh, a frog of Maryland. As a tribute, outside Stamp Student Union, we have a statue of him and his pal Kermit. Students often stop by to take a picture with the famous alum and his famous friend. This is McKeldin Mall. It's the largest collegiate mall in the nation. Throughout the year, there are many events that occur here. One of the biggest events that takes place in September is the First Look Fair. All of the campus departments and clubs set up tables on the mall to share information about their organizations. You do not want to miss this event. Right now, we're sitting at the foot of the ODK Fountain. Some of our campus's greatest leaders have their names engraved upon it. Before you graduate, take off your shoes and jump on in. This is McKeldin Library. During exams, students get really familiar with this place. McKeldin has over one million books to help you finish that final paper. But if you still don't feel confident after all that studying, you can rub Testito's nose for good luck. Students leave food, drinks, and other offerings as a shrine to Testito before big tests. Before you leave campus, you can rub Testito's nose too. We are walking by the point of failure, located at the center of the original UMD campus as it stood until the fire of 1912. When the campus was being rebuilt, the builders laid a concrete compass that has lines pointing to each building that was destroyed in the Thanksgiving Day fire. Legend has it that if you step in the center of this compass, you won't graduate from the university within four years. So just jump over it. We're here at the Comcast Center, home to our men's and women's basketball team. Students line up for hours before the game to get a chance to see our national championship winning Terps beat conference rivals Duke and UNC. In fact, we're so good, we don't even pay attention when the other team's being introduced. We have better things to do, like read the newspaper. After their introductions are finished, we crumple up the paper and toss it into the air. It's a tradition that has been held for decades. We're standing on the field of Bird Stadium. During the fall semester, the stadium is packed with students for our home football games. Every time we score, we fire a cannon in celebration. Before graduation, every student should climb to the top of Bird Stadium and look out towards Washington, D.C. Follow me. On a clear day, you can see all the way to the Washington Monument. These are only a few of the exciting experiences you'll have to look forward to here in Maryland. All of us orientation advisors are ready to show you even more of what Maryland has to offer. We're students just like you from all over the world with a variety of experiences and knowledge we're eager to share with you. There's one last tradition every Terp must know, and that's the Maryland Victory Song. Join our staff as we cheer on the University of Maryland Terps. 